friends and neighbors this is just a little follow-up video on the uh, micro pixel panels that I made um, I've had them I've got, I've got four of them together here and uh, they've been running for about a month I haven't had any issues at all with them so I thought I'd just do a little follow-up and then uh, go over the amperage draw and, and do some testing someone was asking me about that so let me show you what my setup is all right I've got my little gophert uh, power supply here got it set at 3.3 volts uh, and then this is a little amperage meter so once we start drawing some current we'll be able to read it right there let me adjust that around a little bit yeah we'll be able to read it right here down to the milliamp which will be more than enough for uh, what we're doing okay and then uh, got some red wires any red wire is 3.3 any black wire is ground and any yellow wire is going to be the signal wire going out to the board now I do have this board here the only thing that I'm doing is um, th this is uh, where I'm putting my common grounds together so there's the ground from the ESP32 over here and the ground that'll go to the board and then also the ground that comes from the power supply so they're just hooked here on a common bus and then I've got the signal running through a 470 ohm resistor uh, out to here okay and then over here I've got a this is a um, fun board ESP32 fun board uh, from other video that's what we're running things with we'll be testing things with that uh, now and then here is the board so over here I've got four of them together here's one of them so that would be down like that okay so this is uh, my uh, micro pixel board okay and what it actually is is that this is a 8 by 8 matrix grid of uh, the TX 1813 N1s okay so that's a different now here is your regular size board okay so these are the um, WS 2812B's which we commonly see as neopixels and then these are the little ones now those uh the ws 2812b they're usually uh five by five millimeters and these are 2.2 by 2.2 squares so a lot smaller okay so we're going to be hooking these things up um we'll run this at 3.3 volts and then we'll run this one at 3.3 volts just for comparison a lot of people don't realize that you can run these at such low voltage but most of the modern or the newer ws 2812b's will run at 3.3 volts okay um so let me hook that up right quick or this first one i will hook it up so i'll start with the ground which goes right here and then i'll hook up the signal which i only need one signal goes right here and then we will hook up the power which goes right here now that extra pin is a secondary signal and um, we won't be using it for this okay okay now interesting thing is if you look down here at the uh, at the old gopher that just sitting here it's drawing 36 milliamps okay now that it, the reason for that even though no LEDs are on is because each LED is actually a microcontroller and it takes power to run those microcontrollers so even when they're off they're still going to draw a little bit of current okay now let's check out the software that we're doing uh, let me let me pop up uh, where is it here it is okay so we're just we've got a simple uh, script here we're gonna I'm just importing doing my imports this is a module that um, will uh, I work the NeoPixels and so we're just instantiating that we're turning everything off we'll sleep for four seconds and then we'll go through red green blue and white now these are the single 
you know each of these chips has actually three LEDs in it so this will run the single LEDs and we'll see what our amperage draw is uh, on the single LEDs and then white puts all three LEDs on at the same time that's what gives you the white light okay so we'll run the uh, white as the last one and then we'll start out at level two so we can go all the way up to 255 but we'll start at two and we'll double it every time so we'll do it at two we'll run it we'll turn everything on at level two uh, we'll leave it on for three seconds so we can get a, a reading and then we'll go to level four We'll leave it on for three seconds get her so we can see the the meter and we'll work our way up to full brightness at 255 and um, see what that does for each one of these all right so this is just um, setting the color and brightness uh, turning them all on then or this is actually writing them into the memory space and then uh, this sends them out to the uh, to the uh, board okay and then we'll beep each time We'll keep them on for three seconds, we'll turn them off, we'll pause for one second, and then we'll go to the next one, okay? So that'll be the thing. It'll come on, light will come on at two, whichever red, green, blue, or white will come on at level two, then it'll go, it'll go off, come on at level four, off at eight, okay? So that's what we got going. All right, and let's pop up the... Uh, where 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 let me see where it is here it is right here so here's my terminal and if i look in dev yeah this one is running on a usb one okay so we'll go ahead and connect up to usb one and then what i'm going to do is make this small so we can see the printout uh, while this thing's going okay now we are let me check let me check and make sure all my cameras are on okay and let's just run this thing so there's the prompt and I'm just gonna do a control D to start everything over all right there it comes on and four second wait okay there comes our red at two Red at four. Now you're watching the amperage down there. Okay, we're up at 50, 50 milliamps. Okay, now we're at 16, 73, 32, went to 110, 64, 179, 128 is at 308. Full brightness, 255 is at 536, so that's a half amp. All right, now we're going through green. All right, so at 4, 45, 8, 53, 16, 70 milliamps, 32, 105, 64, 173, this is almost exactly the same, 128 is 300. 255. Ooh, that's bright. That is a little over five. All right, now we're working on blue. There's blue four, 45. Blue eight at 53. Blue 16 at 70. Same numbers. 32 at 105. I mean, exactly the same numbers. 64, 173. Uh, 128 about 300 and this should be 500 yep right at 500 for blue tiny bit less all right here we go with white okay so white four is at 59 white 8 87 so we're a little higher this time 16 is at 139 32 is at 237 64 brightness is at 410 128 is already at 600 255 is at 998 so one amp okay so what we saw is that going through 
all of that. Let me feel if that's got any. Nah, it's not even warm. Um, so what are so at a really low level, working one color, we have a really low average. You know, about 40, 50 milliamps. But if we jack it all the way up to 255 with white, then we are uh, pulling a, an amp in this little board. So that's that's a lot of power in this little tiny board. It would probably get warm after a little while. All right, let's switch over and run this again with the um, with that big board. Okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, so here we are already at 51, so that's a little bit higher than the um, than the other one was drawing, right? Okay, so this was uh, 30 something, and this was uh, so this is quite a bit higher, not quite double, but getting getting close to it. All right, so let's run the same test. I'm just going to do a Control D, start over again. And let's watch it. Okay, we should get a four second delay. And here comes the reds. You know what? I do have a defective pixel right here. I, had, I soldered a new one on there, and it, the green is not working on it. You'll see that later on. All right, let's see. That's 16 and 69. 32 is 107. And 64 is 193. It's a little higher. And 128 is 349. Here's the big one, 255. It's 566. So we're about 70 higher uh, on the full when we're at 255 brightness. So we're a little little higher. All right, let's see what's going on. Uh, 16 is 67 up to 105 we do have that dead led right there right so that's uh should detract a little bit so we'd have to really should add some on there okay we're at 352 the big one is 596 okay so now we're on blue so it's it is still 596 it would been would have been uh you know over 600 if we had um had that extra led running or extra NeoPixel WS2812B. Okay, let's see. Blue, we're at 64, 194. It's all comparable. 128, 350. And so we're about 70 or so higher. All right, now we're on white. So this is going to be the big amperage draw right here. That's 8, 68. 16 is 101, 32 is 212, 64 is 400 something, 128 is about 700, and 255 is, well, it was about the same as the other. So that's not bad. All right, so this it, overall, this is gonna this is drawing a, a little bit more, but not not that much. Okay, so the big advantage that we have here is just size. All right, so this is a tiny little uh, baby one right here, and then this is your normal one right here. So all good. Um, so the only thing that I'm going to change and I've already uh, changed it in the schematic but I'm going to alter the position of these pins and the reason that I'm doing that is I'm actually making an ESP32 board that is exactly the same size so this is uh, 28 millimeters by 28 millimeters so slightly over an inch about 1.1 inches and I'm actually going to make, I, I've already got it drawn up. I might be showing you a picture of it here, but a board that matches that. So what I did 
is I adjusted the position of these inputs to match the board so that the boards can go back to back and the outputs from the ESP32 board, which is the same size, will match these input boards. Uh, but other than that, that, that's all that I've changed. So they're working great. And then this thing right here, um, let me see if we can pop the lid off of it. And maybe we can get a view down inside of there. Actually, you know what? Since we've already made the video, I'll just pull this thing apart. If I can get my hands on it. Yep. All right. So I've just got a piece of plexiglass and a piece of paper. All right. And then here is the board that is in here. Let's see if I can slide it out. Okay, and then if we look here, I just got these. Uh, so this is a signal coming out. It goes in here. Here's your power, and so it goes from this board down to that, uh, down to let's see, from that board. No, it goes from that board to this board. And then it goes down to this board and over to that board, and then this is just a little uh, ESP32 right there. So, so far, all I've gotten going is uh, the rain thing, but I was going to work on some, you know, I got all those uh, scrolling things that you saw at Christmas time, but all right, guys, that's about it. Let's call it a wrap.